for the Choices with Jeanette. I'm Jeanette Harrison. Thank you so much for watching Choices with Jeanette. My guest, Laquita Carter, has a multiplicity of skills. I've never heard multiplicity of skills, but she does. She's a realtor. She's an author. She's a coach. She sells real estate. She does everything. Everyone needs someone who can sell real estate. Absolutely. What's going on in Houston, in the real estate market? The first thing I would like to say about the housing and the real estate market in Houston is that we're on the rebound. Um, where did we, where, uh, why did we need to rebound? Harvey. Okay, yeah, okay. Harvey. Uh, many of our areas are being revitalized now. Um, Many people are now receiving the funds uh, that they've been waiting for. We're so grateful to all of those who spearheaded campaigns to come and bring revitalization to this city so that people who were displaced can now return to their homes. Um, and so I feel that Houston is on the rebound. Um, our housing market is booming. And by the end of this year, it'll be back like never before. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's talk about ways that people can buy homes and tell me about some of the programs that they have out there. Glad you asked. All right. Um, well, we know that the first thing we need to do is qualify. Okay. So qualification is something that really, um, for some people, not most, not all, but for some, um, it brings a bit of apprehension. But you can qualify. And anxiety. Absolutely. You can qualify through FHA, uh, a VA loan, or a straight conventional loan. Okay. Each of these three uh, avenues to finance have different criteria, and I have some superb preferred lenders who treat all of my clients on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And, you know, many of us feel that life, we've participated in life too much, and so we're kind of afraid to see what our life looks like on paper. Mm -hmm. um, but... I work with some preferred lenders who specialize in life situations. And so they're able to match um, my clients with the best uh, method of funding for them. And what's so great about them matching them with their funding, they also provide expertise on what you can do to just give yourself that little bump up that you need. Uh, a lot of times we feel that we're so far away and we're really not. Um, an example of that is everybody hollers credit, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody's mm -hmm. uh, concerned about their credit rating. Uh, but most times, it's how much is on your credit that's active, that talks more than wow. what's sitting there. Yeah. Don't let that steer you from your home buying goals because there's no situation that's too hard. And just knowing you, I know those have not been challenges for you. I know you go to the end of what you need to do to make yes. sure that someone can get in that home. Absolutely. And a part of going to that end is matching them with grants. Um, many of us are not aware that in Texas, Texas has so many grants to assist in home buying goals. Like what? Uh, one of the first grants, a grant that I love and a grant that I think speaks to what's going on in our city right now with everyone coming together, you know, woo woo Astros, Rockets, um, is the Heroes grant program, the okay. Texas Heroes. Okay. And so these are your school teachers, your correctional officers, your firefighters. These are people who are in the trenches every day and don't know that there is a program specifically for them to offer them down payment assistance. And guess what? There's no stipulation on repayment for this grant. What does that mean? So that means you don't have to, you won't get the grant and then in so many years, the, the fine print will say, we're okay. going to slowly okay. add it back to your mortgage okay. payment. Once they give it to you, you own it, it's a gift. Wow. And so that could go from 3% to 4%. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. But you know what, they've been, they have been marketing to teachers mm -hmm. and yes. law enforcement for years. But there's a program. And so it's connection. There is a market for them and there is an outlet for them, but when you get the right realtor, they'll make sure that everything that can assist you 
in obtaining your home buying goals is put on the table for you. So that's one of the grants that's out mm -hmm. there. What else is out there? So there's the Home Star program. Mm -hmm. And so the Home Star program is also available throughout the state of Texas. Um, it gives up to 5% uh, in down payment and or closing costs. So that's another grant that you can apply the funds on either the front or the back end, however you need to apply them. But for that grant, um, you will work with a counselor you will go uh, to a class. So one of the things is some of these programs do require that you go to a home buying class. And so the home buying class is a great tool for you as a new homeowner, or even if it's your second or third home. Those home buying classes reintroduce you to different things that are happening in the mortgage market, the rates. So did they have a program for first time buyers. Absolutely. And then even if you had bought a home so many years ago, you became like another first time buyer. They have grant programs for that. Wow. And so um, I would say connect, connect, connect with a realtor of choice that will match you with these grants. You can read up on uh, all of these grant programs in the state of Texas. And even if you're outside of Texas, you can go to FHA.gov and you can read up on what's available to you wow. and what the requirements so are. So do you have classes or do you ever have like anything where people can come and, and, and you can talk to them about buying a home? Absolutely, so we partner with uh, several builders and so we've worked with um, DR Horton, um, we've worked with Perry Homes and up and coming will be a session at Meridiana out 288 South. And so that will be a home buying workshop. Uh, many times we like to house browse. Um, one of my favorite shows um, before I uh, stepped into the real estate vein was Hot on Homes. Mm -hmm. I always love real estate. Well, did you know you would be on TV talking about real estate one day? You watched it? I did. I did, I absolutely did. Did you say to yourself, I could do that? Yes, I did. Well, you're here now. Yes, I'm here now. And uh, it's always been my goal to connect people and be that bridge. Um, so just like I was inspired by the new homeowners that shared their testimonials about their buying experience, um, I was encouraged because the buying experience is not always what we think and so I desire to help people have that hot on homes testimonial. So if I had to say to you, tell me who you've been able to help the most. Mm -hmm. So tell me what your clientele looks like. My clientele looks like me and you. Uh, from residential to commercial, uh, I've had the opportunity to be a connector and a link uh, for those persons making upgrades, those people making the choice to no longer rent and now own. Uh, one of the greatest opportunities um, that I've had, because remember I said lending is the greatest vein for you and it will match you with what you need. Uh, I had a client who was being turned down everywhere. And I called one person that I knew would work diligently and this, uh, this young man owns his town home now. Wow. You mentioned Perry Homes. Mm -hmm. Meridiana, which is a subdivision in, uh, well, a new development out 288 South. And then the other one was? D.R. Horton. Horton. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with D.R. Horton. Oh, D.R. Horton. Well, I don't want to be biased. But they all have great programs that are available um, to new homeowners. Um, D.R. Horton has great incentives um, for like first time home buyers. They come in and they, they match you with upgrades. You know, um, I like to laugh. I had a young lady who didn't realize how impressed she would be with plantation shutters until D.R. Mm -hmm. Horton said, we'll give you that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Pulte Homes is great about matching your lifestyle with your home buying purchase. So they really want to service you in a house that fits the needs of your family. Mm -hmm. um, Meridiana is a new development that I'm going to uh, for a home buying seminar um, on the 20th. And so uh, we will be talking about 
what steps, what next steps you need to take in order to initiate the process. So you're constantly educating mm -hmm. yourself yes. to be able to help the client. Yes. I consider it um, a gain for me to learn all I can learn about what's coming on the market, what numbers are changing, uh, what real estate numbers are shifting in certain zip codes. Um, there are periods where uh, the same property will be priced at $299 today and tomorrow it will be $259 because of interest rates. Houston market has changed yes. so. Wh wh what's going on? Well, you have to attribute it to a growing economy the cost of living uh, increasing, but also the product is better. Um, the homes that are built now are energy efficient. The same products that they used to build the home, um, they wouldn't dare touch them now. Um, even your wood, the, uh, the grade of your wood, your two by fours, the things that they're building your home with now, and they show you even your installation, whether it's spray foam or whether it's traditional batted installation, you know, all these things now you have the opportunity to say, this is how I want my home built. And if you're buying something that's already pre-built, you have the confidence in knowing that that standard is already upheld. But those were old houses they were selling for 250 on TV. I mean, we wouldn't buy that in Houston, but I guess we will now, especially in the Heights. Considering the community and what the community has to offer, um, one of the great things about our housing market is how we feed into our communities. And so we can see that the prices will go up the more we as the residents invest in the communities. And so that will drive the price of what's available in that uh, specific area. It will drive that price up. We're getting ready to close this segment. Mm -hmm. But will you come back mm -hmm. and talk about real estate again? Absolutely. I'm interested. Because I want to understand what it costs to live where. Mm -hmm. In spring, how much is it? Mm -hmm. in, in the heights, how much is mm -hmm. it? In, I want to travel. Wonderful. Absolutely. Because all of those things are important to where you um, select your home. But what comes into play, uh, what's, what has to be weighed, based upon who's in your house and who you're buying the house for, is what need is it going to meet and what purpose is it serving. Um, I have young boys, so one of the main things I will consider is the school Schools. district. Mm -hmm. I will also consider a community association. What does the community look like? What's going on? Where I live now, they have all kind of events in the town center. And so there's a lot of um, edification for the area that keeps the community involved. and as, the more the community involved, the greater the community looks. Mm. Mm. That's good. Good. You'll do that for me? Absolutely. I appreciate Thank you for that information. VA, FHA, FHA convention. conventional. Yes. But there are grants out there. Grants. One more thing. Okay. So we started um, out talking about the revitalization and with all of those recovering from Harvey. Um, if you have been affected by Harvey and your resources are not mending uh, to uh, repair your damages, Texas has a 203K, it's a rehab loan, a renovation loan. And so that may be another avenue um, for people that want to rebuild that may not have had flood insurance or may not uh, receive FEMA assistance. Okay. Is it okay if they call you? Absolutely. They can reach me at 281-221-3196. And I'll put it on the bottom of the screen thank as you. well. Okay. Thank yes. you so much. I so thank enjoyed you. you. Yes, thank you. Okay. I'm Jeanette Harris, and thank you so much for watching Choices with Jeanette. Mm -hmm. You know, in November of 2018, I would have been doing Choices with Jeanette for 20 years. I'm, and I'm only 26. How did I do it? I'll tell you later. You know, in November of 2018, I would have been doing Choices with Jeanette for 20 years. I'm, and I'm only 26. How did I do it? I'll tell you later.
Welcome to Choices with Jeanette. I'm Jeanette Harris. You ever known somebody that you said, mm, they know a lot of information. This lady knows a lot of information and she comes so highly recommended. Arthur Richardson is her PR person. He's not paid. He doesn't get any money for it, but he she has helped him and other people that he knows so much to he thinks the whole world. I told him to call Rita. I told him to call Rita. He, she didn't call Rita. She should have called Rita. I hear that so, you know, I'm serious. Arthur Richardson is your PR person. I appreciate Arthur because I always tell people it's very scary to go and make Medicare choices without somebody helping you that knows what it's about. It's, it's a jungle. It's a Medicare jungle. When people are getting ready to turn 65, it's not uncommon for them to open up their mailbox and have over 50 pieces of mail about Medicare. So it's, 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 it's usually about six months, you know, before that happens when they start getting all of that mail. Well, when you get so much mail, you don't know what to do. You know, when people turn uh, are turning 65, that's like, okay, well, am I going to get my Medicare automatically? Or do I have to apply? You know, what is it going to cover? And you know we know nothing, right? And most people don't. And then they give you all these choices that you don't even begin to know how to figure out what is going to be my best choice. Wow. And so that's what I do is I help people figure that difficult part out. You know, it's over seven different ways you can use your Medicare. And then there's over nine different companies, you know, for the advantages in our area. And then you have the Medicare supplements, what's the difference? And so I can go on and on, you know, with the questions that people wow. are asking themselves, you know, on what they should do. What most people do is they, they go to their friend and say, well, what did you do? You know, you know, and when is they, that how we're finding out the information? That is how most people do. And, and sad enough, everybody's situation is different. You know, no two people that I help have identical situations. And so it usually doesn't work, you know, very well when they get their information, you know, on what their, their friend did, you know, or what their mom did. You know, to help them make the best choice for their Medicare. Wow. So what is Medicare? Well, Medicare is uh, health coverage for people who are 65 and older. And some, some people get it younger due to disability. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, it's our government's way of making sure that we're taken care of in our older age. We've paid for it all of our working lives. You know, those that get it directly uh, taken out of their check, you know, it's that part, you know, like, okay, they just take it out and you don't know what you're paying for, but that's what you're paying for. You're paying for your, for your medical coverage when you are ready to retire. So what happens when someone didn't work? Well, that's one of those things that they can qualify maybe possibly underneath a spouse. Uh, who Suppose they never was married. Well, if they were never married, then they could possibly qualify for it by paying for it directly out of their pocket. Everybody's very different when it comes down to Medicare. And so, you know, you have to actually sit down and ask those questions, you know, to help figure it out. And then it's a lot of people that are involved in it. I'm just one component. You got Social Security. You got the Texas Health and Human Services. You got um, actually Medicare themselves. So it's a lot of different entities that you have to use. And it gets very confusing on where you got to go to get what. I'm almost angry with you. Don't be angry with me. <laughs> I only stay angry about a half a second, then I forgive. But I am because you know so much and, ha and haven't been here before. Well, I'm glad I'm here now. So it's all about timing. OK, and you so all vote I should forgive her? OK, I'll forgive her. <laughs> I'm serious. Yes. We don't know this information. And you think, you know, when you're young, you think you're going to live forever and you're never going to get. And I heard a man say one time, he said, Oh, you're gonna get older. <laughs> and I say, yeah, but I'm gonna still be fine and I'm still <laughs> and you do get older. Yes. You, you do. do get yeah. older. You do. Yes. You re we really get older. Yes. And that information what we passed up and we have listened to it. What did, what was she talking about? She's talking about Medicare. Oh, she's, that's for my grandmother. Mm -hmm. So you come to that place in life where you say, I better learn what they're doing. And just what you said, we start asking friends. Yeah, and I mean, and what's so crazy too is you can call Social Security and talk to two different people and get two different answers. So what do you do? 
You know. So can you call the Social Security office? Are they available to answer questions? Well, see, they're not. They are available for some questions, but they are not. Uh, they're not your coach. No, and they're not. And they're not look necessarily looking out for your best interest. They'll answer your question based on the limited knowledge that they have. You have to think about. They work with several different social services programs. You know, Medicare is not their only program, so they have a overloaded amount of information that they know, and you may not get the right representative that knows the most about Medicare, so you may get erroneous information. So, you know, even, and I've run across that, where people have not always gotten the best advice, you know, for, um, for their situation. Matter of fact, it was a federal employee. They advised her, well, you got federal benefits. You don't need to get the Part B of Medicare. Well, if she had gotten the Part B of Medicare, she would have no, zero, zero co-payments, you know, and no deductibles to worry about. But, you know, because that particular person did not know what her benefits look like at the federal government, she just assumed, well, you have them. You don't need this. And that was not the best advice for her. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Do you? Ha I know it's a dumb question. It's not. There's none. There's no. Do you have to have it? Do we have to take it? You do not have to take it, but it is wise to take it. I mean, it's kind of like out there when you're getting older, you know, you're healthy when you're young, but as you get older, things start to happen and you do need that coverage. You do need to be taken care of. You do need to go in for those physicals now where you was like, oh, I'm fine. But now as you get older, it's better to go ahead and be proactive because if something happens to you, you don't want it to be on, on for five years. And if you'd have gone in just for a physical, they could have figured it out and you know treated you earlier. And now you have a full blown situation that they're trying to put out the fire. You know, as opposed to, you know, we've taken care of this When you earlier. say a full-blown situation, you're talking about a health issue. I do. I'm, you're, you're, now you're in stage four of cancer as opposed to stage one. You know, uh, you had high cholesterol earlier. Now you've had a heart attack. You see what I'm saying? So now you're dealing with a major traumatic situation where if you would have gone for your checkups and just did the routine care, you know, that would have been avoided or, you know, or could have been uh, handled in a better way. We're going to go shoe shopping when we leave here <laughs> after you finish stepping on my toes. Look, she's telling the truth. I'm telling you all she's telling the truth. All right. I'm right. serious. Yeah. You're telling the truth. I didn't know if I had known some things I know now, because you know I've done this TV thing and the radio for 20 years, yes. and I've interviewed some of everyone mm -hmm. over the years, mm -hmm. and I didn't understand some things. I heard it, but I didn't understand completely. And I'm telling you, if you keep going to bed and you keep waking up and you keep going to bed and you keep waking up, one day the bell will toll. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what she's saying, I was telling a friend of mine the other day, I said, look, what you're eating now will show up later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That it's not so just true. about your, your hourglass figure anymore. Right. It is about your health. And if you mistreat your body in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, you will pay for it later. Yes. It doesn't, it's not like you get a new body somewhere. No, no. It's like the same, you keep the same body and, it cut, and it t the bell tolls. Yeah, and it does. And, and, and that's the important thing. The whole really point of, is to be able to get the best health care that's available to you. You know, at the lowest cost, a lot of people say, well, what's the difference? I'm, you know, if you're paying for a Medicare supplement, are you paying for a Medicare Advantage? Are you only using original Medicare? You know, what is the difference? I'm like, well, the biggest difference is your cost because you're going to be using the same doctors. So, you know, let's figure out how the situation will work best for you where you're getting the best cost at, you know, and the good quality care. We live in a wonderful area, you know, where we have so many choices, you know, of good quality health care. And so some people spend a high dollar for that same quality health care that somebody else is getting for free. 
And, you know, and if they would have known, you know, how to get it for free and still get quality health care, then they would, they would have taken advantage of that option. Mm. You know, many people are not given the opportunity to know what all of their choices are because they take that advice from their friend. Wow. All I can say is she's telling the truth. I know you say, I don't really need to listen. This is about my grandmother. I really don't need to listen. Listen. Listen, listen, I'm telling you. Now, I'm going to ask her a question here on, on TV, and, um, and we're going to hold her to it. I'm going to let her tell <laughs> everyone on TV this answer. I mentioned to you when we were talking about the show, I said I really would like to have a call in. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have uh, a call in. She does so many things that help to ease your life in your senior years until I would like to have a call in. Even if you want me to get another guest that speaks more on this subject okay. or something like that, I'll do that for you. But I'd like to do a call in. Will you do that? Yes, I would love to do that. Y'all recorded that? <laughs> Y'all got that? Yes. No, I'm serious, right. Rita. I would do that it's because people have lots of questions. Even the most educated person, such as a doctor or a lawyer, this area is unknown to them. You know, they don't have any clue, you know, how to navigate this particular part, you know. And so I, I always tell people, get you some help. You know, some people, you know, pay for that help. Some people don't. But there's help out there that's available, you know, to help you make the best choice that's for you. You know, if a person only does one thing, that person is only going to tell you that one thing. So if I only work with Medicare supplements, I'm only going to tell you about a Medicare supplement. I'm not going to tell you about a Medicare Advantage. You know, I'm not going to tell you that you have other choices. I'm amazed how people do that. Yeah, so <coughs> you may not be getting, you know, what is best for you. So you need resources. You and it doesn't cost anything no, to just look at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's great. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you coming on. And you are going to do a call-in show with us. Yes. And so yes. people can call in because I know people have questions. Yes. Okay. So we're, I'm going to set that up and we're going to advertise it and okay. tell people to call and call other people and you can ask the question. Okay. And we'll, we'll do that. And I think that will help the community. That sounds great. Thanks. Thanks, Jeanette.